Hey guys, welcome out to the shop today. As you can see, I have a short bookcase here that I ended up picking up off the side of the road. It had one shelf, a couple of the pins, but most of it was missing, but the carcass of it was all completely intact. So I brought it home, first thing I did was raise this shelf all the way up and I started storing some hand planes in here. My main goal was to be able to build shelves from top to bottom and just fill this with hand planes. And that would be a really dream goal is just to be able to fill the entire bookcase with hand planes. But I have some off over here in a corner, some underneath my sawtill over here, and a couple up here, some in this chest over here. What I want to do though is kind of use this empty space right here. I want to incorporate another shelf for some more hand planes. I want to take off the ones over here underneath the wall or the hanging tool chest. I'm going to take those off, put them underneath here, and then get the bottom where it is more usable for a sawtill. So as you can see, it sits right flush on the ground, and I've just been kind of throwing some junk in there. Not really junk, but just random tools that I have. So what I want to do is go ahead and get all this out, blow this out, and then we can start building the sawtill. So now that that is mostly cleared out, I'm gonna go ahead and start figuring out the height that I need for where my saws are gonna rest. I'm figuring that the simplest way to do this and incorporate the new shelves is actually work from the bottom up. That way I know kind of where my shelves need to end up. So I'm gonna go ahead and get my base for the saw till first. So for the base, I'm gonna be using a one by four and it's gonna be cut at 28 inches, the width of the inside of bookcase so for this base all I'm gonna be doing to attach it is just drilling and installing some screws from the outside So now that the base is mounted in, it's time to work on the back piece where all of the blades will rest. For that, I'm still gonna use a one by four, and this time I have to cut a bunch of slots in there, and I'm gonna space those out at about one inch apart. So right here I've cut in the 27 notches I believe and you can see there's a difference between a couple of my hand saws. This right here is one of my shorter panel saws. This is one of my longer saws. I don't even think this one is any good. I think it's got a crack in the blade. So I'm not too worried about this one but I wanted to see what kind of height variations would be on this. And I really like about this height because my panel saws just barely fit into the grooves. I think we're going to bump it up about another half inch, then come from the sides again just like I did on the bottom and screw it all together.
So like I said, I wanted to do is put a shelf for a second shelf for more hand planes underneath. And I started off by grabbing a sheet of plywood and I cut this out. I cut this out to be 28 inches wide and it is 10 and a half inches deep. Now there's no real good way to just attach a piece of plywood into the size of a bookcase unless you have dados or something like that, but I don't have anything on this right now. So what I'm doing is using two little runners or supports underneath each edge. Now the way I went ahead and did this is I used the one by four for the base of the, sink, the hand saws and also where the blades go. So what I went ahead and did is just use the rest of it, and you can see I had, I ripped, or I marked it, split this in half, and then I ripped it down, and then cut it down to nine inches. So these were hidden underneath the plywood a little bit, so they weren't just sticking out into the open. So now what I need to do is go ahead and get these mounted. I went ahead and played with the height a little bit of where the shelf is going to be going, and I got a mark right here and that is where I want the top of the runner to go. So I'll put a mark on this side and then I will grab my ruler and that is 32 and an eighth inches off of the base. Now I'll come over to this side as well. Come up and mark at 32 and an eighth. And I'll get my square again. And I'm trying not to come all the way out to the edge because that will be seen. This should be underneath the shelf. So I got my marks there. Now I can just go ahead and mount these. Alright, well there we have it. We have the shelf and the sawtill now, as you can see down there in the bottom. I'm happy with how it turned out, but I'm already running out of room on these two shelves with the hand planes, so that's not a problem. This is more like a uh, temporary solution for this. I really want a taller shelf area or maybe a taller bookcase. Maybe I can find another one on the side of the road, but I really wanted to get the hand saws off of the ground. They were in the corner over here on the floor being neglected. I didn't like it. So I wanted to go ahead and do something. I'm happy that the, the saws all fit in there nice. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. I think this was a great repurposing of this bookshelf. And I don't know. I like it. Let me know what you guys think. If you uh, do, hit that thumbs up button. Share it around on social network, uh, Twitter, everything like that. Uh, appreciate it, guys. Go check me out on Instagram. I post pictures all the time on there for woodwork and stuff. Appreciate it. Hope you guys enjoyed it. I'll see you guys next time.